Welcome everyone, this is Punch Restricted Caliper, aka Broly Beast One. And I'm here brought to you. I'm gonna be doing a little demonstration for you guys. I set up a little test run for you for people that are new to tech it. I will be going over some basic concepts. I will be going over the recipes to craft everything that is set here and how to set them up properly and I will even show you all the recipes that was needed to create this basic version I have solar panels and that bat box redstone engines electric furnaces macerators chests which are going to be the obvious one for most people that played minecraft that'll be easiest recipe to show so I'm not going to be showing how to create a chest because it's obvious and this one is just for those that are dirtier and had a brain fart for those that forgot to create uh, make the lever so without further ado we'll get started for those that are new to tech it these are solar panels these are just normal solar panels and underneath them is two times insulated gold wiring which I will go ahead and break through this ground okay something just happened I don't know what's going on I just lost video hold on alright guys sorry about that I'm back Alright, now where were we? Oh, yes. I was going to show you the wires. Alright, there's the wires. Now, to run of solar panels is pretty simple. All you do is just plop the solar panels right on top of the electric cable. My preference is the gold times two insulated. Me yeah, it was set to noon. Is my preference. And now I'm going to show you all the recipes. And then in the end, show you what happens. Of course, the item that I'm using for the demonstration, the project table. Three stone, four wood planks, a chest, and a crafting bench. And the craft the uh, project table is from Red Power. Redstone engine from Buildcraft 2. Take, take note, this is for Tekkit version 1.1, by the way. Gold cable, three gold straight across the middle. You get 12 cables out of it. Gold insulated, one times. The difference in between a times one and the times two varies depending on how much power you will have going through it. If you only have one layer of installation and you got a lot of power going through it, if you're too close to that cable, it will shock you. But if you do the times two, then you'll be safe. But if you go something beyond the wire's capability, it will just fry it instantly if you try hooking it up to something. So. Make sure to watch it. And then you got the humble lever. In order to control a redstone engine, you need to have like a redstone signal being emitted to it via a, a, a lever, button, pressure plate, whatever you want to do. The electric furnace is a generator, an iron furnace, two redstone. And an electric circuit. Take note, I'm not going to go over the recipes that are required for these pieces. I'm just going to show those products that are required to make the final product, which is the electric furnace. Wood pipe. Hook these up to a redstone engine and you can suck items out of machines and chests. Cobblestone pipe. So if you want to... Here, I'll show you a perfect example between cobblestone and stone 
and I called that a fail. Since they're made out of two different materials, and fuck you, wrangle away. We'll just go out here. That is a cobblestone pipe. And that is a stone pipe. They will not ever connect to each other since they're made out of a different material. Which makes it pretty freaking useful to run two pipes next to each other or on top. Next, we have the Messerator. Three flint two cobblestones, one machine block, and an electric circuit. Now the reason behind the macerator is ores. Like, for example, you could take one gold ore and put it in the macerator and you get two gold dust. You could take those two gold dusts and you can make two gold ingots. You can double your profits with the macerator if you can get your hands on it. So, that's a pretty big boost to your resources if you can get it. And then you got the times two insulated gold cable. The bat box. Five wood planks. Three RE batteries. And a copper cable. Take note, you need one rubber with one copper insulated cable, which is when you first make it. Your solar panels, two electric circuits, a generator, three coal dust, and three glass. To get the coal dust, you simply just put coal in the macerator. A low voltage transformer is three copper ingots, two copper cables, and four wood. Easy and simple. Now, I'm going to show you how this all works. In here, I have 11 gold ore, and say I want to double it, so I have more gold to use. I could just turn this on, and it will suck the gold out. Now as it goes, it will go through the pipe, and go here. This is the masturbator when it's placed. This is how it works. The down here is where you could put a RE battery for if you run out of power you can use an RE battery as another fuel source for the meantime your ores which you'll see in a second will go on the top and then you see the symbol here just like a normal furnace when it gets to this end it will create dust these floor slots here go over upgrades that you can do to a machine to either make it go faster or have its own power backup supply like increasing the amount of power it can hold compared to just this you can have it hold more so you can see that it went through one gold dust well one gold ore creates two gold dust now I can flip this switch this will suck it out through the sides now you're probably wondering why didn't I just go ahead and have it go from here to here we well, see if you do it that way, the gold ore will end up where the finished product is supposed to be, not on the top spot. So in order to make it work correctly, you have to enter it through the top, not through the sides. Now, you can see here I have two pipes sticks to each other. Again, they're completely different. You got stone and cobblestone. Now, as you can see, I'm sucking the gold dust out of it and into our awesome looking electric furnace which puts the gold dust on the top same format and everything puts the finished gold right here the gold ingot then I can just flip this lever here with my redstone engines underneath the wood planks well the wood piping and you see that the finished product moves along the pipeline into the chest here and it will go into this chest. With a chest, you can have it 
put on any side of as you please. You could put it here, here. You could practically put it underneath the chest if you want to be neat about it. Which, for this demonstration, I tried to be neat. I think I did kind of well, but I would have rather hid the engines a bit more. But that's just me. All right, now that's daytime again. This is a bat box. Industrial craft power is rated by EU slash ticks. Each tick is 32 EU. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what does that mean? That means that it gives out 32 EU every tick, but you don't hear it. That's the funny part. That I don't get at all either. This bat box will hold 40,000 EU. You figured that's kind of a lot, but as you see, when you get further into industrial craft, <laughs> 40 becomes a really small number. Now you're probably wondering, what is that? This is the low voltage transformer. It doesn't have a GUI hooked up to it. The low voltage transformer's purpose is to take something that's a higher voltage and bring it down to an acceptable level for these machines to use. If the power is higher than what the machines can handle, the the machines explode. So you got to be pretty careful when you're setting these up. So this here is, I guess you could say, a rookie slash basic setup. Now, when I come back, I'm going to show you what an advanced one is. Where you can do multiple ores at a time, and they all end up at the same place. So I will get back to you after that is done. Guys. I am back, and now I'm going to show you what I've been up to. This is our advanced version. As you know, with Tekkit, there is five different ores. Gold, iron, tin, copper, and silver. Copper and tin were added from industrial craft. Silver from red power. And then gold and iron from normal Minecraft. Now you're wondering... How is it that I'll be able to run all five of these and grind all the ores? Well, that's where this little dandy comes in handy. Let me get up here. Yes, I know I'm lagging to, sh to shit. <laughs> Don't spread it around, okay? <laughs> Alright, this here is a diamond pipe. And there's GUI, it's got a filter. Now, for the pipes that go downwards towards the machine, is the color black. So, depending on what machine I want what ore, I put an ore in the black section, and the iron and the ores that move on go in the green, as that's the direction the direction that they keep pointing. And as you go down, you keep putting one of each ore in the black section as you go down. Now, as you notice, I don't have one for the very far end. Well, the reason is, is because it doesn't need it, because it's not going to continue on any further. And now we have a new item I've introduced into here, is the gold pipe. When you send a redstone signal to it, it speeds up the process. A.K.A. it moves the item much faster. Think of it as a booster rail. Or giving it a little helping hand. So all the finished products will go from up there into this chest. Now, I've already set up a little demonstration for you. I went ahead and organized all of these items in a different order. And then at the end, it's just all in bulk of each item. Now, I'm going to turn this engine on and we'll see what happens. As soon as I stop lagging. Alright, so you get your gold ore, silver, iron, tin, and copper. Now watch the booster rail. It is rockets the items down the chute towards their designated location. And this rain keeps pissing me off. Stop coming back. God, I wish there was a pause button for daytime and nighttime. 
Now, as you can see, I have actually kept these engines going for a while to get warmed up. You're probably wondering, what does the color mean? There is four different stages for an engine. Blue, green, orange, and red. Red, these engines cannot reach that state because they cannot overheat and blow up. But they do flicker in between orange and red, which is the highest state that they can achieve. And now you see our finished products going upwards. And we'll now be using through the iron pipe. Now the iron pipe is used to organize your items and tell them which direction to go. The solid section is where they will not go. The see-through section is where they will go. And that's how it works. Since this area is see-through, the items will go to the left. And since these areas are solid, the item will not go the opposite direction. And as you can see, when each item hits the gold pipe, it rockets it straight down to the chest. And this is a more advanced version of an auto smelting plant, running off of normal furnaces and macerators. And as you can see, you can do multiple ores at the same time makes it really convenient when you're f pretty far in on industrial craft and build craft once you get to this step it's pretty easy to do everything automatically without you having to do much of the work now you're probably wondering what is required to change that you need the wrench which I will show you actually how to craft so I'm gonna get my handy dandy crafting table for now. I'm going to do this on a crafting table. And I'm just going to plop this down here and right click. Now you want to know how to make the wrench. So this is how. You need one gear cobblestone you need one cobblestone gear which is somewhere in here if I can aha here it is you need this which is easy to make all it is is a wood gear surrounded by four cobblestone and to make the wooden gear is four sticks in the same formation as the cobblestone like so this is how you make a wooden gear that makes your cobblestone and now you need three iron ingots well, at the bottom top and right left and right and you get the wrench then all you do is right click on the pipe until you got it the direction you want to go now with the gold pipe you need to have a redstone signal similar to a redstone engine per se for as long as it has a redstone current going to it, it will have that certain shape. But if you get rid of it, it doesn't have that particular shape anymore. It doesn't have that certain texture to it that makes it look like cheese. Yes, I said it looks like cheese. It's Swiss cheese. And this is still running off of the solar panels I have planted outside. If I can stop lagging, I wish this lag would go away, but I can't help it. And, oh yeah, another thing. With solar panels, you can also charge RE batteries in them. But they do take a long time to charge. So, if you do end up getting a solar panel and using it as a backup power source, 
uh, try to try, uh, try to try what, the, what the crap. Try to uh, charge up some RE batteries and maybe a generator, just in case you do run out of power. And now you see that the engines have reached the orange state. Now you're wondering, what does each color mean? I'm going to give you the short version. The warmer they get, the faster they go. And the faster they go, the quicker they can move the resources. So this is the advanced version. Now, I can go even more high-tech than this. But I will show that on a later episode, and we'll also go over upgrades. So until then, see ya, and I'm out.